Over the last year, we have achieved great things as an organisation, taking strides towards our commitment to ensure that our customers, homes, places and colleagues are safe and happy. At Valleys to Coast, our customers are at the heart of everything we do. Our Money Matters and Welsh Water teams have been working hard, generating an additional £1.62 million in added value for our customers and supporting 119 families with emergency food bank parcels. After over a year of self-isolating, the Community Living Team at our Sheltered and Extra Care Schemes has supported residents to regain the strong sense of community that existed pre-pandemic, celebrating the Llistorn restaurant reopening and even celebrating Christmas in July. As restrictions get lifted, we've been able to, to start to really rejuvenate the well-being aspect of tenancy management um, and that's something we've rolled out across all of our schemes. So what we've done is we've put in structured well-being plans which um, we've done in consultation with the tenants um, with the um, aim of ensuring that they not only get to see and be part of a community but they are happier, they are healthier um, and as such are able to look at their homes as happy homes and to be happier customers. Our hub has also been on hand to support customers with their queries, helping over 1,800 customers between April 2020 and March 2021 through social media messaging and our web chat service alone. By the end of the financial year, over 81% of customers reported they were satisfied with the service from valleys to coast. Our total number of lets from April 2020 to March 2021 was 273. We are also committed to regenerating Bridgend by building safe and desirable homes where people can feel proud to live. We've delivered 40 new homes across Bridgend, including our development built at Hale Q, built as part of Bridgend County Borough Council's school modernisation programme. We worked with a local architect, Spring Design, to help us design a scheme which we felt would fit into the community and add value to the community in terms of good quality homes. One of the things we, we endeavoured to do was to recognise the history of the school by maintaining the plaque which you see over my shoulder. And what we've done that is to build that into the end of the community as a gesture to show, I suppose, the, the history of the site. We have also secured £15.8 million in social housing grant funding from the Welsh Government, all of which will go towards us achieving our corporate plan objective of delivering 100 new homes on average in Bridgend each year. To ensure our existing homes remain safe and happy, we have invested £9.1 million in planned repairs and improvements, an increase of £2.2 million from last year, completing a total of 16,950 repairs. Our Major Improvements Works team have delivered 59 new kitchens, 14 new bathrooms, and installed 43 new boilers for our customers. We want to be placemakers and ensure that our communities are thriving. Our partnerships are key in helping us to achieve this. That's why we've been working closely with partners such as Keep Wales Tidy and Plant Life Cymru to create clean and attractive spaces where our customers are proud to live. Through our Community Benefits Programme, we have facilitated the delivery of various improvements throughout Bridgend with our contractors, including installing new benches at Putla Wine with United Living, supporting the relocation of Bridgend Food Bank with SIRS, and delivering a new schoolyard for a local primary school. We recognise our responsibility to reduce our impact and create safe and happy places in Bridgend which is why we have also partnered with Bridgend County Borough Council and Bridgend College in an ambitious scheme to plant 60,000 trees and are undertaking ecology surveys of our green spaces to ensure that we put the right trees in the right places. Our colleagues are what makes Valleys to Coast brilliant, so we've been working hard to ensure that we recruit the best people and nurture their development to make Valleys to Coast a great place to work. 
With the pandemic changing the way we have worked over the last year, we opened the conversation up with colleagues to find out what worked for them, what lessons they learned, and what modes of working they would like to take forwards as we look beyond the pandemic. This is our Future Ways of Working consultation. We have also employed two apprentices under the government's Kickstart scheme. The Kickstart scheme itself is a six month uh, funded placement. Um, um, we are supporting them up to 37 hours um, a week. Um, they'll also be gaining some minor qualifications alongside that then. But what our real hope is, is to um, then go on to a full two year um, apprenticeship with us. And there's lots of enthusiasm there, which is a um, really nice feeling. We'll be part of the coaching and mentoring of their process throughout the next six months. We'll be far more employable than what they are at the moment, making sure that they get lots of experience and lots of understanding and developing their skills. We are proud of the work we've achieved over the last year, despite the ongoing challenges presented by the pandemic. With the lessons we've learned throughout the lockdown over the last 18 months, along with our newly launched corporate strategy guiding us through until 2031, we are certain that next year will be even better.